Um, well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sharice Davids. I represent the Kansas 3rd Congressional District. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for the work that you do, because I know that this microphone is okay. Uh, I, I know that all of you are here because we get to talk about two of my favorite things today. Infrastructure <laughs> and making sure that there are more opportunities for the Kansas City metro area. And I'm so proud and lucky to be joining Mayor Lucas, Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, and the President of the United States as we talk about the way that this infrastructure bill is going to have a positive impact on our country, on our children, our grandchildren, and future generations. I'm grateful that we get to work together across state lines to help this region thrive. We're talking about making sure that from bridges to broadband, we're continuing to create, create opportunities and connect our cities because that's what this is about. Because as Mayor Lucas said, building infrastructure, addressing infrastructure needs is so much more than the physical stuff. It's, of course, our roads, our bridges, and even broadband. It's infrastructure is everyday systems that help us get to where we need to go, that keep us healthy, get us to places of recreation, get us to our jobs. <laughs> and I know that when we're talking about this stuff, whether it's safety on a highway like Highway 69 or access to high-speed internet in all areas across Kansas and Missouri, both urban and rural, if we aren't investing in those systems, we're going to pay the price. And it's not just potholes and longer bus stop waits, but those are, I know <laughs> folks have felt those. So, but it's not just that. It's the impact that we feel when decades of underinvestment happen on our economy. And right now, we're in the middle of addressing a huge economic crisis that was brought on by a generational pandemic. And I know it's been hard, so I really appreciate all of you who I know are some of our frontline workers, folks who have literally kept our cities moving. So thank you all so much for the work that you've been doing around that. Uh, it's time to stop just kind of repairing our grandparents' infrastructure. It's time to start innovating. It's time to start championing innovations that are going to make a great economy for our future generations, for our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. I, of course, have to bring up fellow Kansan, President Eisenhower, who knew a thing or two about bringing an economy back by investing in infrastructure. We get to do that here and now. This is the opportunity we have in front of us. We have a president who has taken that head on. We have congressmen and women and people like Congressman Cleaver, we have mayors like Quentin Lucas and folks all across this country who know that this is our opportunity and we're taking it. We passed this bill in a bipartisan way because this infrastructure and some of these kitchen table issues are not partisan. These are the things that our country needs so that we can move on, so we can make progress. And I'm excited about the billions of dollars that are coming to our region. I'm, <laughs> and I'm proud to work with the folks who are here today, so many of you, and, and of course, Congressman Cleaver and I, who are always meeting uh, and FaceTiming <laughs> about this stuff. Um, thank you so much. I do want to take a minute to say, Congressman Cleaver is not only my friend, he's my mentor. He is a leader in the U.S. House that is beyond compare. I feel fortunate that we get to have him as our representative uh, in this district and, uh, well, you know what I mean, in this region. <laughs> I'm like, he's... <laughs> and I just, I cannot, okay, there's a spider on the podium. I... This happened at the last infrastructure. I'm not kidding. I'm so sorry. Cleaver has saved my life once again. I will turn it over to Congressman Emanuel.